What's going on guys, Aldrin Nastasio here with FlightPath.com and I'm here with the Energen Drone Max A40 and the M10. Now what these are, are portable charging stations specifically made for your drone. The A40 can actually power up things like the Phantom 3, Phantom 4, Typhoon, and Mavic uh, lineup. The M10 is more specifically made for the Mavic drone batteries. Now, I've actually had these for a little bit now, and I, when I made my first video, I did a pretty basic one, and it was just, you know, let me go out and fly, deplete the battery, recharge it, but it, it didn't feel like it was enough context to give to you guys, and as you guys know, I'm a pretty straight shooter when it comes to some of these reviews, but I do like to want to, I do want to make sure I'm giving you guys some real world scenarios that I've gone through, how I was able to use them, and to see if you guys can relate and maybe you guys can benefit from something like this. So if that's something that's interesting to you guys and how you can use portable charging stations on the road, stay tuned for this video. Now if you've seen my past video, I actually interviewed Victor at CES and amazing team that they have over there at Energen. So I'm very, very thankful for Victor and the team for sending me these. And like I mentioned, I just wanted to make sure I did a proper review on it by actually taking it out into the field and testing it out the way I, uh, the way I use it and the way I think a lot of people might also use it is just really having that with you, having it in your car, traveling with, with it, uh, charging it up as you go. Uh, and possibly having this as a power source when you do like jobs or anything like that. I didn't do anything that, ha that dealt with client jobs or anything. Mine was more of just where I feel like most people would have it. And that's really just on the road, in your car, charging it from location to location while you're traveling. So that's more of the focus I wanted to do when I did my review and comparing that to the very first one I did, which is just a basic depletion and recharging video. I just didn't feel like it was enough context to give to you guys. Uh, so I wanna make sure I kind of redid that video. So the first thing I'll do is just really talk to you quickly about what is inside the M10 and the A4. What does it come with? Uh, so here I have the M10 case and they both come in very nice carrying cases. So the first thing it is, you open it up and it has two pockets, one for your charging and your cables for your M10. And the other side here, is the actual M10 battery itself. So the M10 is designed for the DJI Mavic. It can charge it at least two more times. In comparison with the DJI Mavic, as you can see here, it is a little bit smaller footprint all the way around than the DJI Mavic. Just wanted to show you that for reference. Uh, the casing is a nice metal casing and it has a big rubber piece all the way around the casing itself. Good for shock absorption. Uh, if you're, this is gonna be in the field. Just a nice overall protection for your battery. In the front here, we have a flashlight, USB output, battery output, and input for charging it. The flashlight is a nice piece that they added to it. You can actually use it as a regular flashlight. So if you're using this in the field and it's dark outside, of course, you can use it as a flashlight. Or if you have any issues or in trouble, you can change the modes on here to use it as an SOS signal or as a strobe. They've added a USB output here, which was used for, which I used it for to charging up my iPad and also my remote controller while I was in the field. And then of course they have the battery output here. So it comes with a cable, it charges two DJI Mavic batteries simultaneously. So unlike some of the other battery chargers out there where something like the hub where it would charge in a sequence, this actually charges at the same time and so does the A40. So that is one of the biggest difference in time saving that you'll have with dedicated charging stations like this. So that was the M10. Let me just show you exactly what comes in the case for the A40. So here is the A40 and this is kind of the big boy of the group at the moment. I know they make even bigger ones now because if you guys saw my video when I interviewed Victor back at CES, he was actually showing me the big one that they have which would power up batteries for like the Inspire and the M series and stuff like that. So this is kind of small compared to that one. Big pockets to hold all of the cables and then you have this battery pack right here. So here are the cables that it comes with. It comes with four DJI Mavic cables, DJI Phantom 3 cables, there's four of those. 
DJI Phantom 4 cables and unique Typhoon cable chargers here. Based on their website, same thing. This one does say it takes a little bit over six hours to fully charge this battery. This will charge three and four cell, right? So if you have the Mavic batteries, those are three cell. You can actually switch them to a four cell if you want to charge something like the Phantom 4 batteries. And you can designate here on the front which, which one you want to charge at three and which one you want to charge at four cell. So talking about the front of the A40, we have one, two, three, four separate ports. We have the input right here for charging the entire battery itself. Two outputs, USBs. So this is what I, what I really liked about it is that while I was charging up my batteries uh, for my Mavic while I was on the road, I was also charging up my remote control and my iPad in between locations. So all that stuff was, you know, uh, being charged from location to location so that as I got out of my car, went to the new spot, I knew that I at least had a good 20 to 30 minutes worth of charge for me to fly again. Uh, and then within that time, I was able to uh, really recharge all, almost all of my stuff uh, in that short amount of time. So the A40 is rated to charge a battery up to four more times. But like I mentioned before, what's nice about this is that you can either charge one battery four more times, at least four more times, or you could charge four batteries simultaneously. So if you're out there flying and you deplete a battery and deplete a second and a third and a fourth one, you can actually charge all four of those at the same time. And like I said, it's simultaneous. You're not sitting here waiting for one to finish and the next one would go, the next one would go. You're actually charging them all at the same time. So the one thing that people will say is why don't I just pay more money and buy more batteries, which is the obvious question that everyone has. But I think like most people, um, that have some of, or a lot of other drone options here. If you have something like a Phantom and a Mavic and you have just multiple ways of charging, something like this really comes in handy because you can charge those separate types of drones at the same time. Uh, plus, if you were to charge something, and this is something I was dealing with, I used an external battery pack for a very long time, which was the Goal Zero battery pack. And then you basically have to have multiple charges going on at the same time. And um, you weren't able to, uh, I believe from what I felt, you're not able to charge as many as you can with something like this. Even when I was using a Goal Zero, I believe it was a Yeti 400. Uh, this thing seems to charge more efficiently uh, my batteries because I'm, when I'm able to charge them up and look at how much battery power I have left, this seems to just hold a lot more. So the way I was using this thing when I was using it, when I went on my most recent trip was, I would go out and fly at a location, normally deplete about one, maybe one and a half batteries just to fly a specific location. And then when I was packing up my gear, uh, all I would do is just put my stuff aside, plug in my iPad, plug in my remote directly to the USB here, and then use two or three of these cables depending on how many I used and charging that as I would go to my next location. And I know it says uh, that it should take about an hour to charge up uh, uh, in a, a fully depleted battery. But what was nice is that I would never normally deplete a battery and as best practice, you really shouldn't be depleting batteries down to zero. You're really gonna bring it down to about 60, 70%. Then you bring it back in and maybe you'll run it down to about 70 to 80%. But what was nice is that I was still able to charge about five to six batteries that were about 70, 80% through this thing. And surprisingly, when I did my drive and I did charge that many batteries, I still had about 50% charge left on this thing. And that was charging up multiple Mavic batteries, that was charging up my iPad and my remote at the same time. So uh, I know it's just rated to do a complete recharge of four or more batteries. But I think the way I was using it and I think the way a lot of other people would be using it is, is very much the same way as you're in the field, you're flying a location, you're depleting a battery, two batteries, three batteries, maybe four, plugging them in. They might not be fully depleted. They might be at 50, 60, 70%. And I was able to charge that up as well as all my other gear at the same time and still have a lot of power left. So I think that is the biggest benefit around having something like this versus you just buying multiple batteries. Everything is somewhat included here 
and everything is really nice and compact, comes in a carrying case. And I think it really is what they are calling it, really just a power station or charging station to have while you're in the field. So uh, that's really what I was using it for. And I felt like it was, it was definitely one of those things to have in your trunk, especially if you're gonna be doing you know, on-site gigs or if you're just gonna be traveling and you know you're gonna be stopping at multiple locations, you're gonna need multiple ways to charge up your batteries. There it is guys, the M10 and the A40. I hope you guys got some value from my video and how I was able to utilize these batteries in the field as I was traveling. If you guys got some value from my video, please don't forget to hit that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when I post new videos. This is Aldrin Astacio with flightpath.com and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. I just did it. I'm doing it right now. Do it again. Want me to do it again? It wasn't good? Do better? All right. Thanks. Let's do it. You ready? What's going on guys? Aldrin Astacio here with flightpath.com and I'm here with my latest intern, Addison Camille Astacio. And she's actually one of the ones who helped me test out the A40 and the Drone Max M10. What's your thoughts on it? I don't know. You don't know? Did it work good? Yeah?